Eight years in prison, Muslim student Mohammed Atif Sadiq, who is British-born, was found guilty last month of providing bomb-making training material and threatening to become a suicide bomber. Well, Sky's Scotland correspondent Rona Dougal has this report. A quiet housing estate at the foot of the Ochil Hills is an unlikely home for a terrorist recruit. But this is where 21-year-old Mohammed Atif Sadiq dreamt of becoming a suicide bomber. Among the thousands of hours of video clips and computer disks police seized from his house when he was arrested last year were footage of his hero Osama bin Laden urging jihad against the West and the beheading of hostages like Kenneth Bigley. He'd created a virtual reality terrorist training camp on the internet, which, like the real thing, offered instructions on bomb making, martyrdom operations, and anti surveillance techniques. Certainly different, if you like, in this occasion was the volume of materials that we had to sift through um, that were um, taken from the computer, taken from the files, taken from um, the telephones um, during the inquiry. And not only were they vast, but also m many of the um, documents and files were in different languages. So all of that had to be translated and in such a way that it could be presented in court, but also so that we could identify exactly what the threat was. When he studied computing at Glasgow Metropolitan College, he told a fellow student of his desire to be a suicide bomber and that he wanted to bomb Glasgow. Sadiq had been under covert surveillance by the security services for several months when he was stopped at Glasgow Airport in April last year. He was about to fly to Pakistan, having quit his job three weeks earlier. The fear was he may have been on his way to receive instructions for a suicide mission back in the UK. Described as quiet and unassuming, Sadiq, the son of Pakistani shopkeepers, was a devout Muslim. As he became increasingly interested in his religious background, it's believed he was led by mentors he met online into the shadowy world of Islamic fundamentalist websites. Muslim leaders say they must not be complacent about the radicalization of the young. We have to be vigilant. Uh, we have to make sure that our young people are not radicalized. Uh, and I think in this exercise, we can't do a lit I mean, we, we can't work alone. We have to have allies with us, allies like the Scottish office, allies like the police and other communities. Sadiq's arrest was the culmination of a massive police operation involving hundreds of officers around the country. Senior detectives say if he hadn't been stopped, who knows what he might have done.